Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I want to create this super quick video to share with you some absolutely awesome news. Earlier this morning, Apple finally confirmed their previously rumored March 21st event. So yes, it's finally going to take place. They did confirm it via BuzzFeed, who initially shared out this invitation here. Let's go ahead and switch on over to it, and we're going to talk about this event. So again, it will be held on Monday, March 21st at Apple's own Town Hall Auditorium, which is of course located at their main address. One on Infinity Loop Campus in Cupertino, California. And as with all previous Apple Media events, it will kick off with an opening keynote presentation at 10 a.m. Pacific time. And at this event, they're expected to not only reveal the highly rumored iPhone SE, which is apparently supposed to be a smaller iPhone with a screen size measuring in at about four inches, diagonally, of course, similar to the iPhone 5 and 5S design. I will have additional details for you on that topic linked in your cards right now. I have talked about it at length, and there will also be a special playlist down below in the more info that will contain absolutely everything you need to know surrounding the upcoming event. They're also finally expected to announce a refreshed iteration of the 9.7 inch iPad. It's been so long, it's been since the fall of 2014 that the regular size iPad has received a refresh. And this one probably won't be as popular, but also new Apple Watch bands are expected to make an appearance at the event. Now it is also possible that we haven't really heard rumors yet that Apple could announce and release new iterations of select Mac models. Most likely the MacBook Pro, which hasn't seen a true design refresh since 2012, which was when the initial Retina MacBook was introduced, as well as possibly even internal hardware upgrades to the Mac Pro for the prosumer or even professionals, of course, depending on which Mac Pro you go to configure. But at any rate, that's just speculation. The other three that I mentioned, iPhone SE, the 9.7 inch iPad, and new Apple Watch bands are the three that are most expected. So let's quickly look at this invitation. At the bottom it reads, let us loop you in, which of course could be a reference to new Apple Watch bands. And we have some colors kind of toward the top. Remember this definitely represents the top of an Apple logo similar to past invitations. And these colors that are separating it are highly reminiscent of the current colors that the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus are available in. So we have kind of this rose gold color here, as well as silver, space gray, this is kind of another shade of silver, and gold up at the top there. Let's go ahead and get a close-up of that. And then we have some overlapping colors as well. We're not sure currently whether that could indicate new iPhone color options, such as red and orange, but it is possible. However, it's more likely that it could be in reference to the Apple Watch bands or really nothing at all. Remember, this is just speculation. It's always fun to kind of analyze the invitations that Apple sends out because sometimes Sometimes they are subtle hints to what they'll actually announce or unveil at those events or kind of related to them in some way or another. What do you think? Let me know down below in the comment section. Would you be interested in a red or an orange iPhone? Again, let me know your thoughts. And of course, just be sure to stay tuned. I'm going to have complete coverage on absolutely everything related to this upcoming event. And I'm going to try to have some live streaming coverage for you as well here on the iCrack Your iDevice YouTube channel. Don't forget that this event is crucial in the release of iOS 9.3, which in turn is also crucial in the release of a new jailbreak utility. Remember, jailbreak developers right now are waiting on iOS 9.3 before pushing out a new untethered utility or a solution for all of you who are stuck on iOS 9.1 or higher without a jailbreak. So that's absolutely key. I did go more into depth on that in some of my past videos, which is why there will be a link on your screens now discussing the awesome opportunity that this event presents for jailbreaking in general, especially since iOS 9.3 will likely be released during or shortly following the event. The sixth beta of iOS 9.3 was recently pushed out to developers as well as public beta testers, and Apple is so very close to issuing the public version. So it's just right around the corner. Be sure to stay tuned. I will keep you completely updated anytime anything happens in the realm of jailbreaking and anytime new iOS developments occur. Again, just be sure to subscribe if you have yet to, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter. Remember, stay tuned for some awesome coverage of this event, and until next time, this is ICU, signing out. Join the iCrack Your iDevice community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors.
Creators. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.